I'm uh, Ignace Beguin Bilcock. I'm, uh, I have uh, a few roles. Uh, first of all, I'm a senior manager for the UN Global Compact uh, on Ocean and Climate. And I'm also working for the high level climate champions as uh, part of the UNFCCC, leading on uh, nature uh, as well as coastal zones. For the ocean to, you know, really be fully embedded into the G G20, um, I think it's critical for, first of all, to create a momentum from the civil society to really put pressure on governments, not in a in, you know, negative way, but to, to show them that the ocean is full of solutions, to demonstrate this solution, to bring what we can call signal of changes, that there are actually things that are moving, to give governments with the necessary confidence to understand and to position the ocean as part of this key um, um, global um, convening where the G20 can really make a difference and have replicating effect on, on, on the global economy uh, at large. So I think for me this is the first step, creating a momentum to put pressure on, 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 on government. The second element is to provide clear policy recommendations uh, that are understandable by all, accessible and science-based that governments can take forward in, um, in moving this, this ocean agenda and in hand with the business, the civil society and indigenous people and local communities, obviously. This is a, a, a second area uh, of, of work for, 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 for the Ocean 20. Um, and finally, I see a major opportunities across finance and this ocean climate nexus. First of all, on, on, on finance, we need um, uh, the richer, the larger economy of, of this world to ensure that the ocean opportunities are equitably um, accessible to, to, to all countries uh, across the globe.